what's up guys we are back with another update i think we might have won something guys i bought something on pure sale today let's see if i can find it Alrighty, guys we have won a uh, 2012 nissan altima from uh, colorado springs it does have the bill of sale me personally i never did a bill of sale title but i know in california you can register cars with a bill of sale however i think it's a uh, it has to be 10 years so it might be a little a couple of loops we might have to go through to get this thing registered but look at it guys for 850 bucks it's it is registrable don't get me wrong it is registrable you just have to do a little bit more stuff to do it but it is registrable and for 850 bucks i'm down to do it for a 2012 altima four door with 102 miles now the process starts i actually still have the same shipper's number from last time who shipped the uh, infinity truck so maybe he'll uh, answer and give me a good deal on that and then uh, if not we'll just head out there and grab it and see what we can do but uh yeah stay tuned for that guys we just won this one it's another auction tomorrow we may be able to get something else but uh for now, this is it. New day here. We are in the Camaro, as you see. We are in the Camaro. We were gonna take this car to the paint shop, but I actually wanna try something a little different here. So we have here this Nardo grayish, um, this Nardo gray type of vinyl wrap. And we have the heat gun over here that we just got, and we got a an extension cord. So what do you think we're doing, guys? We are gonna try to wrap this car. We're gonna start off with the hood and see if we can get that hood wrapped. I actually been watching a bunch of YouTube videos on how to wrap, so this is gonna be my first time, guys. I'm gonna do it here with you guys live, and uh, maybe we can get this thing going. Who knows, maybe we'll be able to finish it, and if it looks good, we can start helping other people out getting, getting their cars wrapped and stuff. So wish me luck, man. Let's hope for the best. Back at the house here, and um we have this Nardo gray, just enough for the hood. We might have to, oops, whoa, whoa. See now, that may be the only problem, being that we're working outside, is the wind and the dust. So um, we'll have to do our best and try to get it laid before we get a good burst of wind. For the most part, we got it on there so far, just for a start. So now what I was reading next, you have to glass it. So now what we're gonna do is glass the thing, meaning get all these wrinkles and stuff out. And then um, we're gonna make sure everything is smooth before we squeegee it. So if I got the right idea, we're gonna do that in that order. For the most part, we got the thing glassed. We got it glassed for the most part. Uh, we can get that little wrinkle off right there. We're gonna grab the squeegee and I guess start from the middle and work ourselves outward now once you really get it on here you have to uh it's really windy out here guys so sorry about that but you have to get these air bubbles out the best way is to use that tool but for me so far i'm finding that to get the big stuff out you want to use your hand first with this glove and um just try to work them out the best way you can Most of them will come out. Then the bigger ones, if you can't, just wait till after you, uh, I guess, do this. But this is working for me. You see the, the air bubbles is coming out slowly but surely. Just It's just patience, guys. That's all it is. So as long as you got patience, you can get this done. So I got one side completely um, pretty much glassed down and on there so now it's time to get this side and uh, after that we're gonna cut the edges might, we might be done we got the whole thing squared in no air bubbles now it's time to trim up the sides um, heat it up a little bit and then tuck it we have it all trimmed up and it is looking pretty good if I might say so now you see from a from a good glance, there's no air bubbles or nothing like that. So what I gotta do is, now I gotta heat it up. If you see the edges, you have like little stuff like that. And then like, like you know, gotta get, get that corner down. So the way to get that down, they use heat. So we have our heat gun over here. 
we're gonna heat it up. This is probably the worst part on the hood that I did so far. Pretty impressed, but um, it's not done yet. I can honestly say for my first time doing this, guys, with it just watching YouTube, I think I did a pretty good job. I know uh, the next time I wrap something, I have to come over the hood a little bit more so we don't get those like little crinkles down there on the side that you can see. It's not on top, which is fine. But if you just really, it just, it's, I know it's going to bug me. But I know it's there, but little stuff like this when I was using the squeegee. Could have been able, I think, to uh, reheat that up, lift it, and lay it back down. I was just thinking I was being kind of lazy, which I don't think I should have been. But all in all, I think it came out pretty fair. And I've got a mark right here from the squeegee, squeegeeing too hard. It's really easy, guys. All you got to do is take your time. Once you get the air bubbles out, it's pretty much home selling, so. It's next day here. You already know that I won the Nissan Altima. I'm on Copart. It's actually been shipped out here as we speak. So in the meantime, we're gonna check out the uh, public auction out here and uh, see if we can find anything interesting. We have a couple of scooters here. I remember I bought a couple of these. Few, like my first few auctions, bought a couple of them. Sold them for like 500 each bought them for like i want to say 125 or something like that so that might be a deal and look guys we have the boat back here it sold last week for 75 bucks but i'm guessing nobody came and got it so um uh, it's back up for sale we can check it out again for you guys i don't know if it runs and starts but the engine is there They have a uh, like a detailing type of trailer little thing, which is cool. If you want to start a detailing business? I don't know. That looks kind of like junk compared to my buddy's trailer with the uh, with the detailer or whatever on it. Because I actually showed him this. He said not to get it. So I guess it is junk. A couple of these cars are very high in mileage, but um, I think we might bid on one today just so we can get a fast turnaround on some of our money that we put out recently. So if we buy anything from here today, this these cars will be sold within the next, like, I wanna say couple weeks to a month at most. Uh, the Altima, I'm gonna keep it for a little bit. So uh, yeah, but number six, I might be able to mess with. It has 200K on the dash, so I'm sure it'll sell for cheap. got that one running figured out the key for that BMW oh, it's pretty cool pretty neat good on that one this Jetta seems like it'll be pretty decent you can see I just learned wrapping so you can just wrap the hood and whatnot inside looks pretty fair this reminds me of that toy story truck you know the pizza truck from the toy story movie doesn't have any motor and trans but this is exactly looks like exactly the one that they used <laughs> won't bid on any in this row i bid on this thing however the bumper looks kind of wham wham bam boozled in oh yeah they gave that one a good smack good smack you're gonna need some good pulling to get that thing out but they have a donor so say if you bought this one you can probably put it together put it back together with this one and this one has a bad motor so this will be a great parts car so this is your parts car right here boom or you can take the motor out of that one and slap it in here either way you got a car running if you can get everything done but this one has 200 on the dash and this one has a broken window wow that one has 140 on the dash this camry right here seems pretty fair at a quarter of a million miles still clean though look at the inside for it to have 230,000 miles that's a really clean little car now this is definitely something i would bid on Got a little Lexus, nothing I would bid on back there. No truck. Mm, it's pretty old. 
But if you if you can find it at a good deal, I'm sure you can make some money off the of, off of these cars. This one is a manual trans, 59,000 miles. Check it out. 59k on the dash. Uh, it's a manual stick shift. So if you want to get your stick shifted on, this will be the car to practice in because it already got a tequila kick in the bumper right there. Boom. Then you can have your parts car. Boom. This one is an auto, 109,000 miles. I believe they're the same year. So you want the manual or you want the auto? I'll let you choose. 05 BMW 525. I believe this is the first one because after the first one, they didn't make 525s anymore. Uh, yeah, it's really hot in here. I don't even want to invest my time in that. It's the 525. It's the first generation 5 series of that model. They also have a Nissan Altima here with 200K on the dash. This is the one I just bought. However, this one might be a 08 or something like that. And I bought a 2012. So if I can buy this one for a decent price, I'll buy it. With the little tequila kick in the back. Look at this Jag, guys. I remember when I was like in senior year, a few of my buddies had these things on like 22 inch rims. They was looking so fat and nice. And this interior looks like it had it. But I've definitely seen worse. We're to go 75 now. We're to go one. Out of bit 75 now. We're to go one now. We're to go young ladies in at 75. Bit 125 now. We're to go 150. 150. 150. 150. I'm going to sell it. Last call. Selling it. 125 now. We're to go 150. So 125. Next week will be 933. 125. Thousand dollars. Right. It's got a blown head, head gasket. We tell you what we know. It's a fixer car. Put it on the money now. We're going to go 50 now. We're going to go two and a quarter. Anybody want to take the project home? Two and a quarter now. We're going to go 50. Last call. Selling the car. Last call. So two and a quarter. 901. Got it. $50. 50 now. We're going to go 75. Somebody's going to steal a boat. Don't lose it. $100 for the both of them. Hey. 155, 175, 155, 175. Let's go. 250 for the whole car. Out of the bit, 250. Got it. 350 now. We're going to go 375. Last call. 350 now. We're going to go 375. Selling it. So, three. Last call. I'm going to sell it. Two and a quarter now. We're going to go 50. So, two and a quarter, 901. Go five. I don't know if it's fine now, but to go five fifty now, but to go five now, but to go five fifty now, but to go six. I don't know if it's six fifty now, but to go seven now, but to go fifty. I don't know if it's seven fifty now, eight now, fifty. I don't know if it's eight fifty. Got them all. Chain all done. Last call. Eight and a quarter now, but to go five fifty 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 Hey, come out and look at this car. It's got a few miles on it, but it's a Toyota. 850. I bit 800 downstairs. I bit 800 now. We're gonna go. It's a Toyota. Are you looking? I bit 800. You're in at eight. They eight and a quarter now. We're gonna go 50. It's a Toyota. I bit eight and a quarter now. We're gonna go 50. Got it. New money outside. Eight and a quarter now. Are you bidding? Nine and a quarter. Are you bidding? Are you bidding? Nine and a quarter. Are you bidding? Nine and a quarter now. We're to go fifty. You're moving. You're bidding in my world. So full, full. Nine and a quarter. Now, what are you thinking about now? We're to go star of the show. Put it on the money now. What are you thinking about? Go fishing tomorrow. How many people got a boat I can borrow for the lake tomorrow? Anybody? All right. Thank you. Appreciate it. But it, does it run? 2350. I don't know about 2300 now. We're going to go 2350. I don't know about 2300. Heck, God, it's not done. 2400. Get him on, James. I don't know about 2400. I don't know about 20 now. Tw huh? Quarter. 2375. Now four. Man, quarter. He's five and a quarter now. We're going to go 50. 25 and a quarter now. We're going to go 50. Heck, new money.
20, 20, 75, 25, 75. Don't lose it, man. 20, got it now. We're going to go 26, sir. 26 and a quarter. We're live. We're live. 26 now. We're going to go. you got to be 26 and a quarter. He's 26. 26 and a quarter. Last call. Don't lose it. Hep got it. 26.50. Hep got it. 26.75. 2,650. In Spanish, that's dos, seis, cinco, zero. Bring it up. Listen up. The motor is knocking. Can you hear it? If you see it rocking, don't come a knocking. 500 now. I'm going to go 50. Oh, he hit it. 550. 600. Got it. 650. You're out. Six fifty dollars, eight and a quarter. I got money on it. Eight and a quarter, eight and a quarter, eight and a quarter. Yes or no? Eight and a quarter. I'm all in, all done. Last call. Selling the car. So eight hundred dollars, one thirty-four. Twelve fifty. I'll take. Arr, big twelve hundred now. We're to go fifty. Arr, big twelve hundred now. We're to go fifty now. We're to go twelve now. We're to go fifty. Last quarter. Last call. Twelve hundred now. We're to go twelve and a quarter. Last call. So twelve hundred dollars. It's up to you, sir. You're in charge. I'm just the messenger. What do you want to do? Yes or no? So, so, so. Nine and a quarter. Over to go quarter. Last call. Gotta go. So, $2,700. So, $2,700. Number a bit 26 down. Over to go quarter. He's in at 26. All in, all done. Last call. Yep, 26 and a quarter. 26.50. 26.50 26.75 26.75 27.27.25 27.25 27.25 27.25 27.25 27.25 27.25 27.25 27.25 27.25 27.25 27.25 27.25 27.25 27.25 27.25 27.25 27.25 27.25 27.25 27.25 27.